Hi, Ms. Seidler here, Photo 30. I have in front of me my camera kit. Uh, in the course you're going to see there's a picture of what all is in the kit. Pay close attention to that. Actually compare your kit to the picture. Make sure that I didn't miss anything in your kit that you'll end up billed for later. You should also see a camera loan agreement that you should have sent in by now. If you haven't, please do so soon. And that outlines the replacement cost for everything in this kit in the event that something happens to it. Um, please don't let anything happen to it. It will cost you a fortune. All right, the bag. First of all, how in the world do you wear the thing? There is only one strap. It's kind of a backpack, but not. If you take the backpack in your left hand and put it over your head, the strap will run across your body. Now this is important because of the kind of bag this is. It's a sling bag. If you're going to actually go out and do a whole lot of hiking and, and cover a lot of ground or like run across an airport trying to catch a flight or something, you take this little strap, hook it up here, tighten it down, and that ties the bag to you really well. Most of the time, you're not going to use that little strap at all. Let it hang, shorten it up if you want to get it out of your way. You're only going to wear the cross strap. The beauty of a sling bag, if I'm going to try and make so you can see this in the video, if you reach back with your left hand and grab the bag and pull and rotate it around, the bag is now sitting in front of you with the opening facing up. Now you can go like this, undo the little buckle, get it out of the way, go like that, and you're good to go in terms of getting at the stuff inside. In there, of course, you're going to find your camera, you're going to find an extra lens, you're going to find some extra lens caps, stuff like that. I want to talk about one quick thing before uh, you get out shooting with your camera, and that's, hey, I have two lenses and I can switch them. Yes, you can. Please do it keeping the inside of the camera as clean as possible. If you get dirt in there, don't clean it yourself. Um, these cameras are not cheap. You don't want to have to pay to get it cleaned or fixed because you tried to clean it and something broke. When you go to take the lens off, have the strap around your neck. Probably you won't have the bag on. I'm just going to throw it out of the way like this. Right there under the little EOS is a black button that's going to release the lens. When you go to release the lens, aim the camera down, push the button with your left hand, rotate the lens with your right, and it will pop off. Simple as that. Have some a plan of where you're going to set that lens. Grab the other one. There's a red dot on the lens. On the camera, there is a red dot as well. If you have a lens with a, a white square, there's also a white square on the camera. You line those two markings up. You don't have to hold the button while you do this. Rotate the lens, and it will click back onto your camera. If it's not on right, it won't take a picture. Try to not drop any of this. Again, button in, rotate, lens comes off. Line up your marks click and it's back on and you're good to go. Try and keep the camera body facing down so dust can't land in it, especially if you're out shooting something like a football game in our wonderful windy Saskatchewan. Try to keep your camera as clean as you can. If it gets dirty, don't clean it yourself. Um, contact me and we'll put together a plan. There you go. Have fun shooting, Photo 30.